Today I'm playing a controversial game for many reasons, and that's Torchlight 3, and I ask the question, when is playing a mediocre game justified? I am a huge Torchlight fan. Uh, I love the second one. The first one was pretty good, but really fell in love with the second one. You know, came out around the time of Diablo 3. There was a lot of comparisons between the two. And I just thought I would finally jump in and play Torchlight 3. Now, first and foremost, this game was on heavy sale. And so I picked it up on the Switch eShop. And I'm going to definitely give you my thoughts about that. I know it's on some other platforms. And I'm going to give you my thoughts on whether or not I thought it was a justified purchase. And what, what do I think of the Switch version? So I, I chose the Railmaster, kind of a tank character for this uh, captured video and I do plan on continuing playing this to at least beat it uh, 20 to 40 hours for the first playthrough from what I see online I know that can be very subjective depending on what side quests or not and first and foremost the, the graphics to me are just kind of mixed you know it, it definitely you know a lot of people kind of talk about the graphics of Torchlight 3, everything from being looking like a mobile game. Uh, the price is 40 bucks. There's that. Um, I definitely was probably not motivated to check this out at 40 bucks, but for 10 bucks on sale, on heavy sale on the eShop, e I decided to pick it up. Um, has lots of the Torchlight features. You can get pets. Uh, there's different pets in this. Loot, uh, loot seems abundant. Uh, the map uh, looks pretty pretty familiar for people that have played other Torchlight games. This this game does happen uh, hundreds of years after I do believe the, the second one. There's a lot of development issues with this game. You know, I do believe initially started out to try to be an MMO, and then it was changed with with uh, some multiplayer features. Uh, there's lots of complaints and bugs when this first came out. And I don't know how many of the bugs have been fixed. Uh, what I can tell you is that years later, after this game came out, the feelings are mixed. Overall, there's people that enjoy it, that find value in this game. Others are like, nope, there's other action RPGs on the market that are so much better. Path of Exile being probably a pretty popular one. Uh, you know, the Diablo 2, uh, definitely probably a high on people's list but you know what I, initially i'm this is just kind of middle of the road from initial thoughts now i'm not going to give this a review because i just started playing it and i plan on going through it um you know but i, I enjoy the torchlight franchise and i know that this is is kind of torchlight so they really did try to make this a a, a full-on experience uh unfortunately it just kind of becomes a mishmash you know, going from Torchlight 2, which is only 20 bucks on Steam, and the original Torchlight is only $14.99, which, you know, to me was initially uh, the motivation to check out Torchlight 2 because the price difference between that and Diablo 3. And so going to this, this has a, a very different graphic style, and um, I can see why people are mixed on it, you know. Uh, definitely, you know, it's got all the, the level up, options and tons of abilities that you can unlock there definitely are though some issues with this game that I, that i see first and foremost it just doesn't feel connected it doesn't feel like there's like bits and pieces kind of thrown together you can tell that there was some development issues with this game being put together it just to me it doesn't seem cohesive i guess is the best way to explain it. i want to apologize as well if you're noticing some glitches on my capture card, uh, I'm having some issues with my Switch and my Elgato HD, and I want to apologize about that. But anyways, back to the game. Going back to my original question on when you can justify to play a mediocre game. This is a good example of, for me, I wanted to play the third of a trilogy of a game series that I like. Knowing that it's not as good, I wanted to check out the story. I wanted to check out how it played. I heard a lot of negative things about this. And I wanted to experience it myself. And think about a series of games that you want to play or a, a game in a series that's not as good, but you still want to check it out. That's, that's when I think 
playing a mediocre game is justifiable just to you know find out on your own there's a lot of times you know we hear things about a game but you, you kind of have to experience torchlight 3 for yourself uh, maybe you're not a fan of these games and maybe you don't want to do that but maybe you do maybe you're a big fan of the diablo series or torchlight or path of exile comes to mind but yeah really kind of mixed uh good example so I, i'm playing the rail master and i have this ability where i have this like turret on a train tracks that follows me i understand this game came way later in the timeline i just i just don't like it that's just my initial thoughts about it um the coolest thing about the torchlight series that i do like is the pet feature i wish it was used in more action rpgs where you don't have to go back to town when you fill up with loot you can send them with your pet and the pet sells the items for you i think that's an amazing feature and one of the better features in the torchlight series i do like the loot um one thing i did like about the loot better than the diablo series is i just i like i like how the loot is handled and even even initially in this game i like it i like equipping i, I found several different items uh the boss fights uh while some people have complained about boss fights i have to play more bosses um overall uh, I do like how that's handled. Um, I What I was told is that the game is the same no matter what character you play. So that's kind of a bummer. Uh, there isn't any characters in the uh, scenes. So that's an issue as well. So there's a lot of bugs and things that they could have done differently to make this game a more polished experience. But I have heard that it is better than initial launch. And you might be a big fan like me. And like this game, or maybe you haven't played the other Torchlight games and you just dived into this one and you like it. Um, another reaction that I had is, I'm going to say another game that's going to definitely bring up opinions, and that's RuneScape. And to me, this is kind of the RuneScape of action RPGs. Uh, you know, it's I, I think some of it's geared to maybe a, a younger audience. Um, that With that cartoony graphics, and I don't know, it's like... Uh, I remember playing RuneScape growing up, uh, but I also remember going to other things that were better. And so you're probably going to have that feeling about Torchlight 3 where, you know, you grow up maybe playing it or playing something and then you find something better and you move on to that. But overall, uh, for 10 bucks, I, I did uh, find some value with this game and I'm going to continue to play it and I'll probably... Uh, continue to play it just to beat it just to say i beat it will i go back and play with another character i don't know uh, there's a whole online experience there's a whole other aspect of this game that i'm not showing and this is not a review this is just my initial thoughts and i'm just kind of ranting about uh you know playing a mediocre game which i am and i know this is a mediocre game and i know there's other games that are better than it but i finally wanted to check this out because i played the other two and i wanted to kind of finish the trilogy so, let's talk about the version I'm playing, as I mentioned in earlier. I'm playing the Switch version, and I have to say, the graphics are just definitely not up to par. And I do wonder, uh, there's a Steam version, and there's ways of getting this to look excellent, uh, tweaking it on the Steam Deck. And I definitely am curious, if it goes heavy on sale, I may pick it up for that. As you know, that's kind of where we're at now, where if this is on the Steam Deck and this is on the Switch... Uh, graphically, I'm, I'm going to be motivated to possibly check it out on a more powerful system. I know it's on consoles as well. And so I definitely um, want to say you may want to check those versions out as they may look better. Aesthetics for me are definitely an issue. Uh, I can overlook it as I, I feel the gameplay and, the, and finding loot is definitely the, the best part of games like this. Uh, it doesn't look the best. It definitely looks kind of like a cell phone game. Um, I think it looks a little bit better than that, but but I definitely want to play it on a more powerful system to see the differences. But I can see why people didn't like the aesthetics of it. Uh, other aspects of it, I like the pet, I like the loot, and I think if it's on sale, I think I can justify this purchase. And tell me in the comments below, what are the purchases of a mediocre game that you played that you can justify or recommend in the comments below let me know and thank you for coming to this channel and if you like what you see consider hitting that like and subscribe button click the bell as i'm uploading videos every week 
You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's keep it positive. This is Immortal John Hancock, and you take care.